What's up guys? Welcome back to Deep Cut. My name's Andrew and today I'm discussing my thoughts on the recently released Undercover Spring Summer 2022 collection. Before we get too far into it, please click the subscribe button so that you can keep up to date with my new videos as I plan on releasing more in the coming weeks covering off on the men's Spring Summer 2022 collections that have stood out the most to me. Undercover released their Spring Summer 2022 collection, titled Once in a Lifetime, in late June of 2021. There was no runway show or digital event to coincide with this collection, which isn't necessarily unusual for Undercover. I'm not sure if there's any reason behind whether or not each collection gets a runway show, but I quite like that Undercover present their collections differently with each season. I can't help but wonder if the choice simply comes down to however June Takahashi feels will best showcase the collection. Overall, it seems this season gained a little bit more media attention than the previous autumn winter season, excluding the Evangelion portion, and impressions seem overall on the more positive side. I don't think that this collection had the same impact as the Evangelion collection or last year's spring summer collection titled 2020, which was presented via interactive 3D models. Designer Jun Takahashi has thrown all gimmicks aside with this season and opted to go for a more introspective and down to earth collection for spring summer 2022. Jun himself is quoted saying that this collection was designed with the intention of not being excessively decorative and having deep roots in everyday life. He says that the theme is treasure every single day of your life, since even the most ordinary days can't be repeated. This is clearly very fitting considering the state of the world right now and is an extension of the themes that I believe are being carried forward and matured from spring summer 21 and fall winter 21. As a designer, June tends to let his collections be a representation of his personal feelings and the inner workings of his mind. Once in a Lifetime in particular illustrates this, and I think that the timeliness of this collection will allow many people to find a connection with the theme. The name Once in a Lifetime itself is an idiom by Japanese tea master Sen no Rikyu, who lived in the 1500s. He's known most notably as having a tremendous influence on the traditional tea ceremony, as well as popularizing and incorporating the concept of wabi-sabi into the tea ceremony. For those that may not know, wabi-sabi is the acceptance of transience and imperfection, or the appreciation for the beauty in the imperfect, impermanent, and incomplete. Once in a Lifetime was shot in June's new studio that's located in the mountains somewhere in Japan. He says that the new space allows him to cherish the ordinary and walk down to the beach. In the first portion of the lookbook, lush greenery can be seen behind the model as he stands in various locations on the deck. Then it transitions indoors. The space is minimally styled with ceramics and artworks. It's clearly June's personal space as there are nods towards the history of Undercover throughout as well, like the neon A and sculpture with the HAL I, along with what looks like June's work from home space in the background of one shot. It's an immaculate space, and while home is a very familiar place for all of us, I'd personally definitely cherish the everyday more in a space like this. Obviously there's no soundtrack to this collection, since it's just a lookbook. However, artwork by Manabu Deto of Japanese rock band Ogo You Asshole is featured on a variety of the graphic pieces throughout. You can imagine Jun going about his day to day or working in his office with their variety of relaxed, vintage inspired rock sounds playing in the background. I definitely suggest anyone who wants to go deeper into this collection to check out Ogi You Asshole because I really do think their sound helps emphasise the theme that June was going for with the visuals. Undercover are notorious for their tendency to collaborate and this collection is no different. There's yet another set of Nike shoes along with an extension to the Eastpac collaboration that was introduced last season and more headwear by Japanese headwear specialist Kijima Takayuki. New for this season though are sandals and shoes by shoe crafter Foot the Coacher and the standout boots in collaboration with Guidi. The Guidis in particular will be on my radar as elevated staples to add to my collection. The collection can be broken down into a few different categories, with traditionally Japanese inspired looks moving into more tailored pieces, then into work and streetwear inspired looks, and finally into more casual loungewear kind of items. The first look to stand out to me is look two. The padded collarless coat is a clear standout from the collection, but I also love the sunglasses and the crinkled nylon pants. Up next would have to be look 19. While it isn't groundbreaking by any means, I think that the pieces together are super wearable. 
I also wanted to throw an honourable mention to looks 38 and 39 for the cosy silhouettes and colour coordination. My least favourite looks are all the ones featuring East Pack pieces. I dragged them in my video about undercovers for Winter 21 collection and I don't like them anymore in this collection either. I just don't think that they really fit with the overall theme and in my opinion all the pieces would be better without the East Pack pockets. Overall, I think this collection is another strong showing from June and Undercover, with a lot of wearable pieces and really strong and relatable theme. I noted in my review of the Full Winter 21 collection that it looks like Undercover are going in a more art-driven direction than the last couple of years. This has been continued for Spring Summer 22, and I'm honestly liking it a lot. The collections haven't been as straightforward as the blockbuster film-based ones, but there are still plenty of great pieces of clothing to look forward to from Undercover. Well, that's all I have for you today. I know this was a slightly longer review than my previous couple of videos, but I really enjoyed breaking down this one a little bit further. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and please don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.